Hello and welcome to my channel, Amp Drew Lee. I hope that you're all doing well today. And Helen, Helen, this is incorrect. We need to change the background. Change it now. Oh, that's nasty. Do you really think I look like I'm about to go to hurdles? Change it now. You waste of oxygen. Hello, I'm Drew Lee and welcome to my channel, Amp Drew Lee. Today, I'm going to be talking about an appointment which was meant to be a three month follow up, but it was actually 11 months. Make sure that you hit that like button and then also subscribe and press the bell so you won't miss any videos. Because I do actually think there's going to be a few more leg videos coming up in due course. So today I went to go and visit my surgeon, Miss Scarlett. Now I've always called this particular doctor Miss Scarlett and there was another surgeon called Colonel Mustard. I use those names because I just don't want to use their real names. They might not want their names on the video. As always, it's so lovely to see Miss Scarlett. Ever since the very first appointment that I met her, she was always very nice, very calm. She seemed understanding. She wanted to listen. She didn't rush you either. And obviously for something where it's like an amputation, she's a plastic surgeon. She does a lot of technical nerve operations. You know, they're not little minor surgeries. I mean, don't get me wrong, a surgery is a surgery. I'm not saying that any surgery is nothing. But I digress. So I get in and this is the first time that Miss Scarlett has seen me walk on Sue, Drew and Sue, my prosthetic leg. Now, obviously she's very happy to see me walking. She called me from her office. Normally she walks out to the waiting room and we walk down together, but she called me and she waited outside so she could see me walking. She was quite excited to see that. So that was nice. And we had a bit of a chit chat, um, just asking how each other was. And then she was asking about how everything was. Now I did explain to her that this was my three month follow up appointment even though it was pushed back to now, which is 11 months. Reason being is that there were doctor strikes in England through the NHS. Oh, outrageous. I mean, she even apologized about the strike and I said, so well, it's not like you planned it, is it? And she was like, no. So anyway, we were having a chat and then I explained to her that this wasn't the original Sue, this is Sue 2.0. Because I don't know if you've watched my previous videos, but I'll give you a very quick breakdown. My original leg was faulty and it broke where the knee joint meets the socket. I fell over smack bang wallop and then I also broke my right hand in three places. Luckily, touch wood, I don't need an operation, but they are saying to me, you know, keep an eye on it if it gets any worse than what it is, because it still is a little bit painful. They just said, come straight in. We'll get you straight through to A&E. All the best. So that was that. And she was very upset that that happened. I then explained that this is a new leg, but it is a very poorly fitted leg, mainly because I was losing weight intentionally. I was not drinking as much wine and all that stuff from my previous video. And then I started to explain to her the problems that I have experienced with the stump itself from my last appointment, which was probably about April time. So since April to now, which is October, so that's May, June, July, August, September, October, six months. Drama. So I told Miss Scarlett that my stump at the very bottom, the whole part, and I'll show you, it feels like it's burning. It's got like a very tight pain and also um, like it's like it's sizzling in a pan. Like it's, you know, sizzling in a pan. That's all I can say, it's burning. It's like, ooch. And it, it does really hurt. Pain wise, seven out of 10 on the average, but it can go up to a nine. So I say to Miss Scarlett, anything from like a six, seven and upwards, that's when I start to get a bit wary. Reason being I give it up to a seven is because at the end of the day I have had my leg amputated and it's not just going to be like leg off, shimmy on, boom, pa, pa. It's ba you're going to get niggles, you're going to get little bits of uncomfortable spots and you know little phases. The nerves in the leg need to work, they need to heal and they need to repair themselves. So I do give a little bit of leeway. I then went on to explain to Miss Scarlett that I was getting pains up on the sides of my leg and then just before the groin and then in the groin. And those types of pains are very similar to when I had DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis. Now I've had deep vein thrombosis before, DVTs. I had five in my left leg when I had the full leg. I did have um, a blood clot that was in my groin. Part of it broke off, it traveled up to my lung and then I got a PD, which is a pulmonary embolism. And if you get one of them, that gets lodged in the lung, it grows and then unfortunately you die. So obviously I don't want to go through that again because it feels like an elephant is sitting on your chest and it's extremely painful. I mean, it's excruciating pain. So I explained this to Miss Scarlett. Now, 
I did explain to her that the prosthetic leg was poorly fitted. Now I'm wearing two leather linings inside and I have got three socks on. That's not how it's meant to be. And I'm walking around, my legs falling out of the socket. I mean, you know, I'm literally doing the Irish jig when I'm walking down to get a pint of milk, do you know what I mean? Oh, I love a bit of Michael Flatley. So I'm just going to take the leg off now and I will show you, you know, the parts of the stump that are uncomfortable. And you'll probably see once I've taken this off that, yeah, the leg is way too big just by looking at it that the socket's too big. It's mahoosive, look. It's bigger than my head. So yes, I did show the doctor and it's this part pretty much where the scar line is. There, that part there, it gets tight, it's burning, it feels like it's sizzling and can't stop. Also there's pains here and up here and here and then in my groin. Um, that's red there because of the pressure on Sue because it doesn't fit properly. Unforgivable. This top bit it could be because Sue 2.0 is not fitting correctly and where I have to adjust, move the leg, compensate, this could be a reason why. It might be tight because I might be clenching and not thinking about it um, or burning, just burning. I don't know why, but she does think that to kind of wait and see when I get a new leg because I'm having fittings that are starting next week with all of this pain that I've been talking about. Um, there is a scar, I can't see, oh, it's, where is it? Where are you? Here. That is for the TMR, which is the nerve technique. That is for them to um, redirect nerves that are remaining in the leg, redirect it back in so the nerve pain is not as, you know, it's not as intense. So what she wants me to do with this pain that I'm getting, she thinks it might, there might be a nerve, something going on in there. She is booking me in for, a, not a CT scan, not an MRI scan, not an X-ray. Oh, bloody hell, what is it? Oh, Drew, you're useless. Hmm. Ultrasound, ultrasound. She wants me to go in for an ultrasound. So is that the one-stop shop clinic that they called it? Basically, they're gonna do a nice ultrasound all over the leg and the groin to see, you know, how the nerves are doing, if there's anything abnormal. They wanna know what's going on. And if there is something that's a little bit ugh, going on, she said there could be surgical intervention with one that is towards on the outside. But obviously we need to see what the ultrasound says. Could also be connected to the poorly fitted prosthetics. So, you know, she's obviously exploring and going down all of the avenues. Now, when I spoke about the pain and I mentioned the DBT because it felt, it feels the same, she wants me to go and speak to my GP and um, I said, well, if I go to the GP, I mean, I'll get an appointment in like February, 2029. So I said, can I go to A&E if it gets really painful or if I get too worried about it? And she said, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, DBTs have turned into a PE, you've had it before. She said, there's nothing to mess around with. So she said, it, you know, it needs must, then go. So I need to, you know, I'm gonna call my GP probably tomorrow or some point this week and express my concerns because they can book an ultrasound. But if they say, oh, well, it's not going to be until like April or May, then I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna take myself down to the A&E, clog up the queues, take a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon and just get it done. I mean, it might not even be that. It might be where I've overworked my hip flexor or my groin using Su 2.0, who knows? And yes, still to this day, I still get extremely irritated when I see other people down the street when they're looking at me and this is how they look. Like I said before, most people are absolutely fine. It's absolutely bad. But, you know, there are other people who just, you just need to get out more. I do have a fitting for my leg next week as I'm going to have a suction socket put on. I've explained it in my previous videos, so I'm not going to do that again now. Uh, but that is all going to start happening next week. So I'm sure I'm going to be doing videos, giving you updates and all that. So more will be coming your way and Yes, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate you guys supporting me, giving me moral support, just even watching. And yes, I will see you soon. All the best. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.